y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you're here because I'm here. Anyways, um, I wanted to share one of my favorite vintage coach bags. Um, so I just started to carry her yesterday and I was like, I should just make a video of her. Uh, just because I never did. Yeah, I've seen thousands of YouTube videos on coach vintage handbags, especially this particular one. And that's what inspired me to purchase one on the pre-love market. And I got them for a really good price. Um, they're not such a good price now. They're about the same amount that you can buy like a new coach bag, maybe like mid-range, I would say. This particular bag cost me, I don't know, if I remember like less than 200. I'm gonna say 120, 130. Uh, people out there are selling them for more than that, possibly even $400. Um, I've seen them for 475. I've seen them as low as even 100 and something down in Poshmark, but I don't know. I don't know the condition of the bags. Um, you know, I have mine. Mine was very good condition, and I'm so surprised. So, anyways, here she is. Ta-da! Da -da -da -da. She is the Coach Vintage Manor bag, and yes, she. You know, I try to figure out what new bag Coach has that is similar to this bag. Um, and there are a few, there are a few, but nothing beats the quality of this bag because this is all at a honey. Um, this is, um, the leather on this particular bag is so smooth and soft and supple and the hardware, the turn lock key is brass. I mean, look at the... <laughs> First of all, I just want to say this is a 1996 bag and look how she's, look at her handle, it's still erect. Um, the person that kept her, kept her in good condition and um, I noticed that the handle started to go sideways after using her for a while so when I store her, I always stick something in here like cloth and towels just to widen it up and keep it structured um, because sometimes when you wear her crossbody and she hits like the under breast area or the curves, your body curves, her handle will start going. I try to do this to her. Her handles will start going lopsided, but I don't know. I don't know how that lady kept her like that, but. Like I said, she started going lopsided and then I started to stuff her. Um, I think I'm gonna stuff her with something hard because I saw something online where you can stick in here and it's flat and it's round just to keep her like this. 1996, y'all! That makes her 27 years old. Yeah, 20, yeah, 27. I'm, yeah, 27, because I'm not counting 2024, because 2024 hasn't ended yet. So it makes her 20, 27, yeah. And I mean, uh, she is in such good condition for a bag that age. I mean, I wish I was 27 years old. That doesn't really make you that old. But I think after a certain amount of years, uh, I think after 10, maybe maybe 20, oh my God, coach, coach vintage lovers are going to kill me. I think it's 20 years it makes a bag vintage. I can't remember. But anyways, that's not about where my brain is. It's about this lovely bag. I mean, look at her. She does have a little spot there you can barely see, but if like in the daytime, you could see her. I don't really care. It's not that noticeable. And when you condition her, which I haven't and I should, um, you can barely see that. But um, yeah, going back to this lovely, she is, her style number is 997. Yeah, for y'all people that are interested in her, 
Her style number is 997. And again, you can find her in the pre-love market. And Coach has even, the nerve, has tried or has sold her for $400, $500. I'll link up some pictures over here so y'all can see. I don't know who buys these bags when you can just buy them in the pre-love market. But whatever, maybe those people just don't want to bother. Or maybe they just have the funds to do that. Anyways, whatever. Um, so in 1996, this bag sold for $270. Yeah. And um, her measurements are nine and a quarter, eight and a half, and four and a quarter. Yes. And she, her strap, she does have a strap, and I don't have the strap. I'm not, I do have the strap, but I'm not using it. I'm using this strap. Uh, her original strap is 48 inches long and it is adjustable. And she has a turn lock uh, key closure, which is in a brass. And um, her, her adjustable strap is actually a dog leash class. I think I got that right because I'm always getting it wrong and the coach lovers are like, mm -hmm. actually, this is what a dog leash claps is. Yeah, but hers is in gold. It's the brass. And what I want to say about this brass, it's not a shiny brass. So I did stick one of these. And this is just something I got from Etsy. It has no name, no nothing. It's not a coach either. Although I was looking for a coach and they do have them. I couldn't find one. I do actually have one on another purse, and I'll show you that right now, but um, or in a minute. But I, I just put this one on this one, which is just a plane, and I've lost the keys, so it's stuck on there now. Um, she did come with her original uh, dog tag, and the uh, coach collectors really, I don't know why, but they really uh, value a vintage bag that comes with its original dog tag. I mean, you could purchase them from Coach, uh, and I, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth more. I mean, people could lie, I, I think. I don't know, but whatever. This lovely bag has a slip on the back where I don't really use it for anything. If anything, I would put receipts on there if I'm shopping. Um, she is a wide piece. She stretches to the amount of stuff you want to place in there. Top handle, shoulder bag, cross body. You know I like my cross bodies and top handles. So this bag is double duty for me. Um, so let's see what I have inside of her and what she looks like inside, y'all. All right, so she has a front pocket. This is going to be a little bit weird because I hate carrying her like that. I feel like I'm damaging her somehow, but she's sort of like gusset on the side without having a gusset on the side. I know I'm saying that all wrong. I know, but you know what I mean? She stretches to how much you want to put in her. Look at that, but you don't want to put too much in her because you don't want to look, you don't want her to look like she is overstuffed in her dress for the night. You know when you go out at night and you try to stick in your stomach? You know, I do that all the time. And then you eat, but you can't, you just can't, you just can't, and you're like, ugh! And it's sticking out, it just does all kinds of wrong. You don't want that to happen to her. So anyways, in the front pocket, I have, oh, I just have this alcohol spray I got at an event. And then I have my little, my little coach. Uh, this is this is a um, an outlet buy, right? And I've had it for a while. In fact, I bought a couple because they were so cheap. I think they were like twenty seven bucks, and I gave them out. And um, I'm just carrying this cream here for my hands. Uh, nothing special. I really like in the summer. I really like to carry lotions that smell like something because in the summer it's really hard to smell nice you know so that's what i'm carrying right now but it has no scent it's just because my hands are so dry i guess because you know getting older you're getting drier anyways i've been having uh headaches lately so i'm carrying 
some Tylenol, which I really don't like taking drugs, but I mean, hmm. Anyways, my ear pods, okay? So that's what I'm carrying in this little, whatever you wanna call it, zip lock. <laughs> Woo, that was scary. The wind blew my blinds, like, and it scared the crap out of me. Anyways, like the exorcist. So anyways, uh, what else do I have in the front? I have my business card holder, that's that. And then, let's see. Oh, I just have, yeah, for my headaches. Mm -hmm. This is an essential oil. It is called Just Pain Relief by Prana, whatever. You guys probably don't care, but I am getting a lot of headaches soon. And I don't know if it's stress or people, you know, people that backstab you and pretend to be your friends. Anyways, <laughs> whatever. Um, so. It does, so this is the front pocket. And then the middle pocket, it could also be the ex-husband. So, sorry, ex-friend. Uh, so the middle pocket here has a zipper. And right now I'm not carrying anything in there. I don't know why. There's just nothing in there. But I think it's gonna rain because it is windy as baloney. And the trees are like and so the third pocket back here is actually the bigger pocket. And what I wanna say about this bag is you wanna carry less in the front and more in the back because if you carry more in the front, it'll start doing something like that. And it looks ugly. So carry more in the back, okay? So what I have in the back is just the same old, same old. Uh, my little bag that <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody's getting tired of it and I probably need to buy a new one. but. I just purchased these Equate Flushable Wipes at uh, Walmart, and they're wide enough for your booty, but I just hold, I just use them for my hands, and you know, the kids like them, so when we're at a restaurant, usually I carry like alcohol wipes, but I carry whatever I find I want to try. And then this, like, <laughs> this is so disgusting. Let me tell you about this. They need to ban these things, because this stuff, damages your washer and your dryer they the kids put them in their pockets or not even the kids my kids don't do that it's like if you have a man years ago my um my in-laws my uh, sister and brother-in-law their kids they used to carry this stuff in, and when they stayed in our house and i used to wash their clothes or they used to wash their own clothes i found a whole bunch of this stuff stuck in my washer my dryer all right, uh, I'm the only one that takes this with me, but I just, I don't really use it a lot. I just think it's convenient just in case. But what I do, what I have noticed about this several years after COVID is that people are so disgusting. They actually use this stuff on like the table where they're having dinner, especially like older people. And they leave this on the table. Like, you know, and then the waitress or the waiter has to clean it. That is so disgusting. Like, what do these people think they, like, it's like, you might as well just pee while you're in a restaurant on your chair and wipe yourself if you're going to leave this on the table. It's, I just wanted to mention this because I, you know, it's, it, it's, it gives me the ilks just to see people in restaurants doing that. Like, it's just so gross. And then I, I just carry gum. And, and believe me, if I'm gonna use that, use it in the bathroom. And here, here are my alcohol wipes for my glasses. So see, this little thing over here is, is pretty good for carrying those things that you need that are kind of personal and you should be using in a personal space, except the eyeglass alcohol wipe, not the, the floss thing. For all you folks out there who are using the floss in public, stop it, okay? Just stop it, it looks gross. And don't leave it there. That's just shame on you. Anyways. All right. So the next thing I have here, of course, is my old but vintage uh, Gucci cosmetic bag. And the strings are like all over the place. Like literally, I need a new one. I mean, I do have a new one. But I just wanted to use this one because what I like about this one is so soft. And it just like... It's soft, right? The other one is hard, so it's like structure, and it, it's like, it, it just like, it just like, right? But this one moves around with everything. You can squish it, whatever. So what else do I have in this lovely here? Okay, so y'all, 
I have this Dooney and Burr coin case and I really like this. I mean, I, I should be carrying a coach wallet, but I really like this. I really, I don't like this, this hard, whatever logo here thing, but I really like this. Anyways, so, um, and that's it. And then after that big old pocket there, you have a zippered pocket back here and it's pretty deep. It is pretty deep. So that's what that looks like inside. And you see how, like, if she has nothing in it, she's just like that. Now, she's supposed to be a structured bag, and she is a structured bag, but she is a very soft structured bag. I mean, look at her. She still, she still has her shape after many years for a handbag anyway. You know, because people, they abuse bags. Uh, they don't know how to appreciate their bags, and they abuse these bags, and then they try to sell it in cheap, you know, looking all doozy and everything or they walk around with bags that look like crap um but this one this one was taken care of by this lady and of course i'm doing the same and hopefully i still have this bag and when i die my daughters can be like this is the bag my mom used to oh my god because my daughter's always making fun of me they're like is it vintage <laughs> um wherever we go they pick stuff up and they're like okay this is this is you mom Cause it, it's like fruits and vegetables and like smoothies and drinks and and vintage that's you mom like they always make fun of me like that but I would hope to keep this bag so that my daughters can have fun with it and you know talk about it because it's it's just really nice to like hand off things even though it doesn't cost a lot of money it's really nice I've, I have some of my mom's stuff so and she's still alive but, you know, when she passes away, because we're all going to pass to a different dimension, um, those things will remember, will remind me of her, you know? And so for the lady that gave me this, I don't know anything about you, but thank you so much. I mean, I purchased this during COVID, and um, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it for my daughters. And usually when I like uh, one bag, hi, Nina. Usually when I like one bag, I buy one in a different color. But anyways, uh, yeah, I do that a lot because it's just, it makes so much sense for me to do that because I love the bag so much. And plus I have two girls and um, I always figure, you know, they're always in my stuff. They're always in my stuff. So I figured, well, you know, they have their own style but when your kids are in your stuff it's because they like your style <laughs> and I'm like oh my god so anyways I'm putting all this stuff back in here uh, there you go and I wanted to talk about the strap this strap does not belong to this bag obviously this is a vintage this strap belongs to one of my um, bags it, it was a what do you call that damn bag oh i can't i just i i can't remember what that bag was called it was it was i have a youtube on it i'll link that bag below um where this strap belongs or who this strap belongs to uh i know that i call it my question style uh crossbody bag it because that's what I wear. It's you know crossbody. It's not a top handle. It's just crossbody. But anyways, this is like a navy, and this is that bag's uh, strap, and I'm just using it for this. And literally, like you can only wear this bag as um, a crossbody. And yeah, this looks ridiculous because you can you can't even see it. I'll stop. Uh, I'll, I'll show you later. But anyways, um, I usually carry it like this. I mean, if, if I'm somewhere where I need to put it over my uh, chest, I will. But you can't really use this strap as a shoulder strap because it's too wide and it ends up, you know. And it's very, th it's very thick. What I noticed about um, Coach's uh, guitar straps, uh, that, I don't know if they're called guitar strap, whatever. Um, they're very thick. They are super thick, like they're not really soft. Like, let's say, um, I have this other strap here. Uh, this, this strap is not as wide and it's very soft, right? 
But anyways, um, I wanted to talk about the bag strap. So you see how it, it's gold or it's brass and it's, it's the dog, the dogly strap. And it's adjustable. And I, I want to say this strap for me, for the who I am, for my style, I feel like this bag is very classy. And I don't have to carry the strap. But when I do add the strap for me, to me, the way I feel, um, it makes this bag sportier. Um, I, we all women like to look different, and we could. If you don't look different, something's wrong with you. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Literally, we women can look classy, sexy, pretty, cute, sporty, masculine, whatever, boring, whatever. Uh, but like I said, see, this to me is just plain, traditional. Um, it actually, like, if I wore it like this for me, not I'm not trying to say anything about anybody, so calm down, calm down. But for me, it ages me. And I have, like, less than, ooh, it's raining. It's raining. I have half, and you see the shadows coming through. So I have, like, less than a quarter uh, more years to live and pretend or act like I'm young so I'm not going to fast my age by looking old no way no how if you don't need to do that please don't do it um, so anyways you can also make this um, this is a coach leash strap this is a coach strap and I've seen some people with it, although I don't think it's a very good strap for this bag because it's super thin. But I mean, I think a Coach um, Outlet does sell one like this, but it's thicker. And I think I want to get it because it does make it prettier. It does feminize this bag a lot. It really does. So, and when I, I wore it one time like this to an event, uh, since this strap is super thin, this bag was super heavy. So throughout the night, I was like a dodo bird carrying her like this. And people love this. People love the way this chain dangled. But I was annoyed with myself because I had to hold her and make sure. You can't really let her be because she's super long. So you, or me, not you, I had to hold her like this. And yeah, I was like, never again. But anyways, you can do that, and I'm like, I like that. This is this this one of the bags reminds me of Audrey Hepburn, and um, like I said, it looks pretty, it looks classy, but you can sport it up. And I'm gonna do something right now that is going to piss off some people, I think. But if you want to piss off uh, coach collectors, then you can attach one of these. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it looks cool, you know, against the brown because like it just does. And, but, you know, it kind of it kind of like lowers the look, the value of this bag to be honest with you. So, I'm going to say don't do that. Don't do it, okay? Don't don't do it. Then I got this one, and that's the soft one. That has the black. Um, I don't really think this one looks as good, you know. But it's worth a try. If you like that style, you know. If you like that style, you can do I, I, I don't think it does anything for it, though. I really don't. I like the, uh, the, uh, the orange. Um... And so I also have this one here that I bought at uh, the end of last year when I started. I think this, yeah, this strap was actually my first YouTube video. Yeah, I'll link that one down below uh, so you can see how much weight I gain. Um, so there she is. And I like that one too. 
because it has the light, like the contrast is what just drives me a bomb. Like, you know, it's like, woo! Gives me a high to see like the contrast, you know? So, and then it has like the coach name. So, and this one again is pretty hard and thick. Not as hard and thick like this one for some reason. I don't know why, y'all. But I really like the orange one against. This is mahogany, by the way. This color is mahogany, y'all. It is not just brown. It is mahogany. And I love brown bags, by the way. I have, I have a few, maybe three, four, uh, Coach Vintage Mahogany bags. Love them. I love the brown. So there you go. That is my mahogany uh, manor vintage coach bag from 1997, y'all. Too bad, it, no, 1996. Too bad it was in 1999 because I would have started playing the um, Prince party like 1990. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but anyways. Um, so yeah. So and then I wanted to show you. Let me show you something else because like I said when I like one bag and it is 2024 I started buying vintage bags from other people uh, as soon as I heard COVID was a thing because I was home I learned about vintage bags I you I had a few when I was younger but you know not a lot um, I was like a tomboy look at my hair I was a tomboy and so I carry like a lot of fanny packs, um, a lot of like handheld bags. But um, as I got older, I started purchasing bags and I had a few coach bags, but I don't even know what happened to them. Oh. Anyways, this one is the black manor bag and you see how her handle is going that way. Yeah. So this is why I suggest when you store these beauties, to put something in there and you can always like moisturize her with like the wet towel for a little bit and then stick something in there and have her just sit there uh, so that she doesn't get like that because that annoys the shit out of me seriously like it just lo looks no but anyways this is my beauty this is also the same bag it's, it's, it's the same bag y'all it is it is the same bag one is in black and one is in mahogany. And I love both of them like I love my girls. Yes. And so I'm keeping these for both my girls. And this black one has, this is the strap that I put on this black one because again, I love the contrast and it, it sports it out instead of it being, um, you know, it's a classy bag, but I got her stuffed here with the, you know, yeah, you know, the air pillow, <laughs> whatever. So anyways, y'all, I am hoping that you enjoyed my video and get inspired to spend more money when you don't need to, or if you could, good for you. Um, but there's still a bunch of these going around some of them are crazy priced um, even coach has purchased these and priced them over four hundred dollars and I got lucky because you know I don't know I know people were buying these way before you know COVID but since I was bored I was just like let me learn about this I spent so much time with people on the internet and on groups trying to figure out the creed on these bags if they were authentic or not because I did not want to spend like a hundred and something dollars on a fake bag and even though I did purchase the three three so-called authentic vintage uh, coach bags I ended up getting my money back yes mm -hmm, yeah because I fought for it they lied to me um, but you know I think every woman should have a hobby Whatever that hobby is, I think every woman should have a hobby, especially if it's a feminine hobby. 
if it makes you feel feminine, if, it, if it's just all about you. Forget about your kids, forget about your husband, because I know a lot of women put so much effort and time onto their children and servicing their men. Service yourself and put more time onto yourself. Get some hobbies, whether it's dancing, painting, coloring, teaching others. Just don't like do nothing and depend on others to make you happy. And I also like teaching others and I also like to research and inspire and give other information, to give information to others that I've acquired. Uh, some people uh, deserve it and some people don't because some people use it to get ahead of you and then backstab you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people will do that to you. But you know what? Forget about those things. Just keep going. So I hope you all were inspired by me and to go out there and spend some more money when you don't need to. Uh, but yeah, like I always say, go get yours. Bye.